Tom's got his baby for me now, guys. Now I feel really bad. <laughs> so he's gone up there and he's got his little baby. You can probably just see his, his little image um, behind the curtain. Always move there. I'm not coming in. I've got to lay on the floor. Hopefully you're all all right, guys. Let me just link up this other phone. So Pilates, if you haven't done it before, your beginner level, your beginner option is always going to be level one, okay? And I will teach through the levels so that you can choose the level where you feel comfortable. Going to the highest level doesn't automatically mean you're going to work more effectively. Unless your technique is spot on, then you're not going to benefit from it at all. So I always say start with the level one, and then build it up gradually so that you can ensure your core muscles stay in place, your neutral spine stays in place, and your breathing is correct, okay? Now, if you have got back problems or anything, I'm gonna give you options as we go, so listen out for those. Otherwise, you just need a space, a drink, something to lay on, if you've got a mat or um, a towel or a blanket or something, okay? Standing nice and upright, toes and knees point forwards, shoulders down and relaxed. You gently rock side to side, forwards, backwards. Make sure you've got an even distribution of body weight across both of your feet. You don't feel like you're slumped to one side or leaning too far over. I feel like I'm miles away from the camera, so just come a little bit further forward, but not too much. Good. Relax the shoulders. Make sure your neutral spine is in place so you can just tilt your pelvis forwards and backwards, finding the position where your back feels the most comfortable. You should have that natural lordotic curve in place. And it's going to be different for everybody. It's where you feel more comfortable. You shouldn't feel like you're pushing too far forward or leaning too far over. So with your neutral spine in place, you're going to find and engage your core muscles. So we're going to begin with the pelvic floor. Now that's the muscle from within that you'd use to stop mid flow. Okay, so imagine that muscle. I want you to imagine it's a lift and you're gonna draw it all the way up from within to floor number 10. You're gonna take it down to floor five, then down to floor three and leave it there. So you know that you've drawn up. You can feel that it's slightly pulling up, but it's not uncomfortable. Most importantly, you can maintain it. Then imagine a belt around your middle, 10 notches. Put it into notch number 10, so it's as tight as it'll go. Take it out to notch five, out to notch three, and leave it there. So you've got that tightened corset feeling around the center of the body. So your core muscles are in place, your neutral spine is in place. The last thing we need to think about is our breathing, and we're gonna have lateral thoracic breathing. Breathing from the rib cage. Hands go on the ribs, fingertips touch. Don't move your hands, I want you to breathe from the ribs. Take a breath in, and release. Take a deep breath in, and release. Relax the arms down. Just gently begin to pedal through your feet, one side to the other, raising up an alternating heel. Allow the shoulders to gently rotate one way. My husband's gone out on his bike, guys, and the other way, so when he comes home, he'll be puffing and puffing. Place the feet down, all the way up, and release. He's got to do 200 miles this month to get a nice little medal. I told him that if he aims for something, then you're more likely to try and go for it, aren't you? All the way up, hold it here, and release. So you're gonna take a nice lunge forward, drop the back knee, flatten the foot, push back in. Good. From here, all we're going to do is bring one leg forward and hold. Drop the back knee, bring the arms up. So stay in this position. Breathe in, breathe out, rotate, breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate, breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. One more here. And then push back and change legs. Drop the back knee, front knee is softened. Don't let it go over the toe. Breathe in, breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Breathe out, rotate. Breathe in, return. Two more. So we're mobilizing through the spine, spinal rotation. Into the center, 
push back, step out, reach up and over. Alternate from one side to the other. Lift, reach, over and in. Good. Lengthening through the waist, through the side of your body. Last one here. And hold. Good. So, all you do, feet hips distance apart, allow your hips to rotate one way. I've got a piece of hair right in front of my face. And the other way. Just rotate from the hip. Good. Hold it in place. You're going to take your left foot forward, circle round, lift the knee up. You're going to lengthen, bend, toe forward, circle round, lift it up, lengthen, bend. So only take it as far as comfortable for you. If you need to keep the leg lower, then that is absolutely fine. Last one here. So you're going to lengthen and then you're going to hold it bent. Ankle rotates one way and then the other. And then place that foot down. Other leg comes forward, point the toe, circle round, lift the knee balance, lengthen, bend, toe forward. Make this a smooth, controlled movement. Don't rush it. Don't flick the leg out. You've got to control the movement. Lovely. I'm going to do one more. Remember, you don't have to lift so high. Lengthen and bend, and then hold it bent. Ankle one, ooh, one way that cracks there, excuse me. And the other way, and place that foot back down. So you're standing towards the back of the mat. I'll go diagonally slightly. Breathe in, tuck the chin in, and then breathe out, begin to roll down through your back. Soften your knees, allow the arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, continue to bring yourself all the way back up. Lengthen through the spine, relax the shoulders down. Again, breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, begin to whirl down through the back. Soften the knees, allow the arms to hang and relax. And then when you're ready, carefully roll back up. So after this next one, we're not coming back up. So we're gonna roll down to come down to the floor. Breathe in, chin to the chest. Breathe out, gently roll down. At your lowest point, I like you to walk your hands forward, keeping your feet flat on the floor. Try and have it so your elbows underneath the shoulders, wrists underneath the elbow and the shoulder. Good. I want you to push back, touch the feet, and then walk forward again and hold. Good. Let's walk back, touch the feet, walk forwards and hold. Try and keep those feet flat on the floor. So you're in that downward dog position. Touch the toes. So from here, guys, I want you to bring your knees all the way down into a box position. Try and keep your back nice and flat, nice and neutral. Imagine there's a tray of drinks resting on your back, okay? You're gonna breathe in, breathe out, push one leg all the way back. Breathe in, drag the leg back in, and other leg. Breathe out, push it out. Breathe in, pull it in. So this is your level one of swimming. You're pushing the leg away and drawing it back in. You're gonna do one more on each leg and then we're gonna add a change, okay? So just with this one leg, breathe out, lengthen, lift it up, stay here. We're not swapping legs until I say change, okay? So breathe in, bend, breathe out, lengthen. Breathe in, bend, breathe out, lengthen. Try and keep your knee up in line with your bottom. If you want to work a little bit harder, you can extend the opposite arm out along the floor. Harder would be to raise that opposite arm. Still maintaining neutral spine. One more here. Hold it out straight, fingers and toes touch down, draw it back in. We're swapping legs. Breathe out, lengthen and raise. Breathe in, bend, breathe out, lengthen. So we're focusing on the muscles in the back of the thigh, so your hamstrings and your glutes, your bottom. Opposite arm can come out, 
make that a little bit harder. Obviously, your arm can come up. Breathe out as you, I'm sorry, in as you curl, out as you lower, lengthen. Breathe in as you curl, out as you lengthen. Try and keep that knee up in line with the bottom. Breathe in, breathe out. You're going to do two more for me, please. And then allow that leg straightened to touch down and draw that leg back under. Good. From here, bringing the forearms now goes in, lowering the bottom down into a leg pull. So knees are down at level one. Come up onto your toes and lift the knees for level two. If you want level three, you're going to come back up onto the hand. Make sure the bottom isn't in the air. So you've got a nice diagonal line coming from the back of the head down to the heels. Remember, you can change levels. So if you do a couple at a high level and then think, I've had enough now, come down the level. That is absolutely fine. Deep, full breaths. Level one, knees down. Level two, knees up. Breathe and hold. I'm going to ask you for two more breaths. Once you've done your two, you're going to gently lower all the way down onto your front. Extending the arms and the legs all the way out. And your head should be down, okay? You should turn like that. Otherwise I'm half on, half on, it's quite uncomfortable. Arms are extended, legs are extended, point the fingers, point the toes. Take a deep breath in. As you breathe out, lift one side. As you breathe in lower, breathe out, lift the other side. Breathe in lower. Now, my head is slightly raised, so I don't get too claustrophobic. You make glasses, anything like that, head can be slightly raised. But, you shouldn't crack the neck, you should always be looking down at the floor. Or just keep the forehead down. Breathe out as you raise, in as you release. If it's too much with the arm and the leg, you can do just the arm, or just the leg. Breathe out as you raise, now imagine there's a marble underneath your belly button. So you've got to draw up through the core so you should feel the belly button being pulled up towards the ceiling. Breathe out as you raise, in as you lower. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in. Breathe out as you raise, in as you lower. And I'm going to ask you please for one more on each side. Once you've completed your two, you're going to slide those arms back and back into leg pull. Knees down level one, knees up level two. We're coming up onto those hands for your level three. Pull the belly button up. You've got to feel the tension, the tightening, right around the centre of the body. Pull it in, pull it up. Hold it and breathe. Don't hold your breath, hold your abs. You can have your knees down or your knees up. And I'm going to ask you please for up to three more breaths. Up to three. You can only manage one or two, that's fine. When you've done that, you can gently release and you're going to turn over onto one side. Now I would like legs bent, feet together, elbow under the shoulder, and hoist up your rib cage. So you haven't got the ribs down there, you've drawn up, you've got an open space underneath the body. This hand is there for balance or place it on the thigh. So we're gonna do a lateral hip raise, which is gonna help with your lower back. And this position here is a side bend. So you're gonna breathe in, Breathe out, press the top leg back. Breathe in and release. Breathe out, press the top leg back. Breathe in and release. If you want to go a bit further, bring the hip up off the floor. Breathe out to open. Breathe in to lower. Keep the chest open. So hip down or up, but your rib cage stays lifted. 
If this is too much, you can just hold the position. Breathe out as you open, in as you release. So what we're doing is we're releasing any trapped nerves in the lower back. So if you suffer from sciatica, this is a lovely exercise that will help with that, okay? Breathe out to open. You're gonna do one more for me here. Gosh, I'm really hot today. And then release and lower all the way down onto your side. You're resting your head down on your arm, hips, knees, ankles all stacked one on top of the other. So if you look down, your body would be in a straight line from the fingers all the way down to the toes. And this hand is here for your balance, guys. Breathe in as you breathe out, raise both legs without rolling forwards or backwards. Now, we're gonna start with your top leg. Breathe in. As you breathe out, kick it forwards. Breathe in and return. It's gonna go backwards. Breathe out, kick it back. Breathe in and return. So two things to notice here. Number one, that leg remains straight. We're not bending the knee. The next thing you realize is that the bottom leg is not moving. Good. If the forward movement or the backward movement is uncomfortable, just do the one that's okay. It's all right just to do one leg. Hand is there for balance or take it away. Option here is then both legs. One goes forwards, one goes backwards. They both remain straight. There is a real tendency as the bottom leg especially comes back to bend it. But if you make that movement smaller, you're less likely to bend. Breathe out, kick, breathe in, return. So they're always coming back to the middle. If you want to go a little bit further, bring the arm over into this torpedo position. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Or remember, just the top leg on its own. I'm going to ask you for two more breaths here. When you've completed those two, you can allow those legs to lower. If you need to get that hip around, please do. And then push yourself to sit. Please feel free to grab a drink, guys, if you need one. So we're sitting upright, we're lengthening the back, shoulders down, relaxed. Make sure feet and knees are hips distance apart. So, you're gonna breathe in. As you breathe out, tilt the pelvis under, and then carefully begin to lower as far as comfortable. Breathe in, start to come up. Breathe out, continue all the way up. Breathe in, tilt, start the lower. Breathe out, gently release as far as you can. If you can get all the way down, that is great, guys. But you have got to get all the way back up without allowing your legs to move, okay? So as you breathe in that first breath, you're tilting the pelvis under the C-shaped spine. You're lowering carefully through the back. And then you're using your core to help pull you back up. Breathe in and tilt, breathe out lower. Even if you're only going to here, guys, that is still absolutely fine. Build it up gradually. You may find you start here, and then in a couple of weeks when you've been doing it for a while, you can then get a bit further. And that's the progress that you'll find. But just remember, however far you get down, you've got to be able to get back up, keep those feet down, keep those knees nice and still. So in your roll up, this is called, I'm going to ask you please, Two more. Once you've completed your two, stay in your seated position. Just to work his back, I can see the yellow reflected jacket through the curtain. Good, so from here, we're gonna come into what's called an open leg rock up. So you're gonna breathe in, tilt the palms under and lift the feet from the floor. You're gonna to touch your big toes together and let the heels drop out. If you need to keep your hands there for a bit of support, absolutely fine. Now breathe in, and as you breathe out, kick one leg out, then breathe in and bring it back in. Breathe out, kick the other leg out, breathe in and bring it back in. So you're breathing out to kick, you're breathing in to return. Breathing out to kick, 
breathing into return. If you want to go further, both legs are going to go together. Now, if your balance is off or your lower back is uncomfortable, then you can always keep your toes down and just bring the foot back in each time from there. If you want to go all the way, it's called an open leg rocker, which means that there is a movement that goes with it. Please don't bang your head, you've got enough space. So your legs are, your knees are out, your toes are together, breathing, you tilt, you roll, you kick, and then you breathe in to come back up. Breathe out, you tilt, you curl, you kick, breathe in to return. So there you have the full open leg rocker. Or maintain and just do one leg, breathe out to kick, or both legs without that roll. Entirely up to you. I'm going to ask you at whichever level you've selected for one more with each leg. If you're doing the double leg, you've got two more. And once you've completed both of those, place the feet back down and gently lower down through your back. So you're down on the floor, on your back, legs bent, feet down. So, neutral spine in place. If I place a spirit level across your hips, bubble of them will be central and stiff. So you've got that neutral, comfortable spine. Core muscles, pull up, pull in, so you can feel that tightening around the centre of the body. From here, breathe in, as you breathe out, lift your right leg up into a right angle. Knee above the hip, ankle in line with the knee, that right angle is in place. Hold it here, breathe deep, full breaths, so this is your level one of the hundred. If you want level two, breathe in as you breathe out, bring the other leg up as well. But don't let those legs touch, they're still hips distance apart. Don't let the heels drop. Right angles in the knee. If you want to go further, breathe in, breathe out, bring the upper body up, look beyond those knees, breathe in, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. Breathe in, breathe out, one, two, three, four, five. I'm not pulling on my body, I'm not flapping my arms, I'm just pushing down with my hands. And you can do that with just the one leg raised if you wanted to. Or remember, this is where we started, just that one leg on its own, both legs on their own, with or without the pulse. I'm going to ask you for two more breaths. If you've got one leg raised, you're going to lower it and change legs. If you've got both legs raised, carry on. You can always take the right leg down for a couple if you need to. Or both legs and have a rest. Keep going, I'm just going to wet my mouth. Good. So your hundred, strengthening for the core and the lumbar spine. Breathe and then push down. One, two, three, four, five. Or just hold it nice and still. So I'm going to ask you please for up to four more breaths here. When you've done your four, one foot at a time can come back down. Upper body will lower if it's raised. Lovely. And then from here, breathe in. As you breathe out, lift up your right leg. Now we are going to be moving both legs. But our right leg is going to lengthen out through the air and our left leg is going to lengthen out along the floor. So if you're on a mat, you might want to take your sock off. That will help the leg move a little bit free up, which I think I might just do myself, actually. So breathe in. As you breathe out, the leg's going to move separately. Breathe out, lengthen that right leg without wobbling the left knee. Breathe in, bring it back. And then breathe out, push the left leg out along the floor. Breathe in and bring it back in. So you're alternating from one leg to the other. One goes out through the air, the lifted leg, and then the other leg just lengthens out along the floor. You are taking it out as far as comfortable for you, keeping everything in place. Shoulders down and relaxed, core muscles zipped up. Breathe out to allow the leg to move away. Breathe in to bring it back in. If one of those movements is uncomfortable, just do the one that's okay. And I would like just one more with each leg. And then allow that 
that right foot to lower, breathe in, breathe out, lift the left leg up, right ankle, check your start position, because if you start in the wrong position, every movement you make after that is going to be incorrect, okay, breathe in, <coughs> breathe out, lengthen it out, breathe in, return, then that foot that's on the floor, breathe out, lengthen, breathe in and return. So while one leg moves, the other leg stays absolutely still. Core muscles zipped up all knee. You don't allow the knee to wobble. Don't allow this raised heel to drop back down. Core muscles zipped up, pulled in. Deep, full breath. So your movement should be slow and control. Don't rush it. Use deep, full breaths, slow, controlled movements. And I'm going to ask you please, for two more with each leg. Once you've completed those two, you can allow that raised leg to carefully come back down. And if you want to give yourself a long body stretch here, you can. Well done. And then from here, guys, carefully make your way over onto your other side, propped up on the forearm and elbow. Remember, rib cage drawn up, so you've got that open space under your body. Even if you just stay here in this position, you're working your obliques, you're working your waist, okay? Just don't let the rib cage drop. So, feet are together, breathe in. As you breathe out, press the top leg back. Breathe in and return. Breathe out, open, press the top leg back. Breathe in and return. If you want to go further, raise up the hip. Breathe out to open. Breathe in to release. So a higher level would be to have that hip raised, but keep the rib cage raised. Keep the chest open, don't allow yourself to roll forwards or back. A lateral hip raise with a side bend. Work your waist, work through the lower back. Mobility also for the hip, strength from your shoulder. I'm going to ask you for one more of these, please. Lovely. Then you can allow yourself to lower, make sure I've got enough room, and lengthen all the way out. Hips, knees, ankles all stacked. Hand is there for balance. Make sure you're looking straight ahead. Breathe in. As you breathe out, raise both legs without rolling forwards or backwards. So breathe in. As you breathe out, kick the top leg forwards. Breathe in and return. Breathe out. Kick the top leg backwards. Breathe in and return. So we've got that top leg coming forwards and behind but keeping my foot's catching on my desk but keeping that leg as straight as you can and then your option is for both legs one goes forward one goes back but both legs stay absolutely lengthened stretched out hand is there for balance we can take it away remember if one of those moves is uncomfortable or too difficult stay base level. You could even take the arm over to go a little bit further. Breathe out to kick, breathe in to return. Remember, don't bend those knees. Zip up, pull it in tight. Breathe out to lengthen, breathe in to return. So I'm going to ask you please, the two more. Once you've completed those two, Legs come together, gently allow them to lower and give that hip a little rub if you need to. So from here guys, we're done for now. We need to make our way to stand, but I do not want you to rush. First of all, we're gonna come over into an all fours box position, okay? So bring yourself round into that box, wrists, elbows, under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Just going to take a nice gentle cat stretch. Breathe in, round the spine, tuck the chin in. Breathe out and release. Breathe in, round that spine, tuck the chin in. Breathe out and release. 
release. Sitting back on the heels, lengthen out the arms, stretch around the shoulders and through the glutes. Well done. Child pose. Hands come in towards the knees. Now, if you need help to stand, if you need to hold on to something, move towards that thing, okay? You're going to curl the toes under, walk the hands back, tuck the chin in, place the feet down, and slowly, gradually, in your own time, begin the process of rolling up through the back, vertebrae by vertebrae, all the way to the top. As you reach the top, relax those shoulders down. Make sure your back is neutral, comfortable, you've got that little dotted curve. You're not leaning over, forwards, backwards, or side to side. You don't feel lopsided, body weight feels central. Lift up onto your toes and release. Re-engage the core, make sure your neutral spine in place. Keep it like that for as much of the day as you can. You're going to lift up onto the toes and release. One more time, you're going to lift up, hold it here, close your eyes if you can. Are you as balanced as you thought? And you are there. Well done. And the sun has come out. Looks lovely through my window. State of me, look, I've got all hot and sweaty. Well done, guys. That is your Pilates for today. We have got Pilates tomorrow morning at 10. We are back at four o'clock with another class, legs, bumps and tums today. So if I don't see you then, I'll see you another day. Take care guys, very well done. See you soon.